Good morning, everyone. This is Coffee and Prayer with Choice B. And today, I'm going to be sharing Genesis 17, 1 through 27. But before I begin sharing the Word of God, Genesis um, 17 and 1 through 27, I want to I wanna speak God's Word on you today. I want to put God. I want to put God's word on you. I want to put God's blessings on you right now. Father God, I come to you according to your word, Mark chapter eleven, verses twenty-three and twenty-four. I speak your word over every person who's watching this video today, who's commenting, liking this video, or just passing by, or just glancing. At this video, I want you, O oh Lord, to pour your heavenly blessings upon everyone who's taking the time for you today to see and to hear your word. Father God, bless everyone, whatever they are going through today, you know their need. Someone may need a job. Someone may have lost her job or his job. I know that you have better plans for them, God. I know that you have a better job for them, and you will look out for them and give to them a better job, but better pay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Someone out there is looking to buy a home. They need the monies to do it. I ask Father God, provide. Provide for these people who's looking to buy a home today with the monies that they need. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Someone today is going through a bad relationship. I ask you, to, Father God, I ask you, Father God, to guide them the right directions. And I ask of you, oh, Father God, to bless each of them, that you will go into their hearts and make them see, let them see, guide them the right direction to be together. If they are meant to be together, this couple, I don't know if this is coming to my mind, then it shall be. Whatever your will, O oh Lord, shall be. Guide every person today who's in a bad relationship, Father God, and guide them the right directions and keep them safe in Jesus' name. Amen. I also pray for someone today who's needing healing. I ask you, Father God, wherever they, they need healing in their bodies, I ask you, Father God, to touch, touch them, heal them, go there. Let them know that you are there. And they are asking in Jesus' name, Father God. They're coming to you. I'm coming to you for them right now, Father God, according to your word, which is Mark 11. Mark 11, chapter 23, 24 verses. And also according to your word, 1 John 16, 23, which says, I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, he would give it you. So, Father God, today, I ask in Jesus' name, Give healing where healing is needed. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember the Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and he is watching over you. Stay in prayer at all times. Keep God's word in, in coming from your mouth. Stay focused on God. Grab hold to the promises of God. Grab hold to God's word and speak it. I'm giving you the verses every day. Go back and watch the other videos and speak each verse. Every verse is a prayer that you can speak daily over your need, whatever need that you have. Mark 11, verse 23, 24. You can speak that upon your prayer. And you can also speak uh, 1 John 16, 23. And third John second, which which says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in health, even as thou soul prosper. Third John second, Amen. Let me say it again, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mightest prosper and be in health. This is God's wishes for you. This is God's wish. And be in health. And be in health. Even as thou so prospering. Third John, second, amen. I'm speaking the word of God on health today. On people who need a home. Who's looking to buy a home. People who are looking for a job. Who lost a job. That will get a better job. I'm speaking for that. 
I'm speaking for healing. I'm speaking for bad relationships to be, to be for God to be upon that relationships, and that you will be guided to do the right thing by God in Jesus' name. We know God lead us the right direction if we ask Him to do so in everything, in every choice that we do. Always believe and keep the faith and keep God's word coming out your mouth. Remember, the best uh, is Third John second and First John and First John sixteen twenty three. When you ask in Jesus' name, when you ask the Father in Jesus' name, it will be given you. I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, He will give it you. So ask whatever you need right now in Jesus' name, and you make sure you say, I come. I come according to your word, which is third John second and first John sixteen twenty three. And there you go, you say your name. Amen. Don't you know Jesus loves you? He is the right way. He will be there. He will never leave you. You shall never want. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You shall never want. That's Psalm uh, Psalms twenty three one. 23 1 palm songs songs 23 1 says i shall not want you shall not want you shall not want amen and now i'm going to share the word of god here genesis 17 verse says 1 2 27 17 chapter Genesis, already one, twenty-seven. Remember, the Lord Jesus Christ loves you, and watch it over you. I want to let y'all see here. This is uh, verse four. For as for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to put the meanings of. Of some of these verses because a lot of people ask what it means <laughs> and I'm going to be sharing that from now on something new I'm going to be doing I'm going to be doing lots of new new things on here I'm going to be sharing ways to pray in each situation I'm going to find each verse for any for every situation I'm going to find one but I know I wanted to share that uh, Mark 11 uh, Mark 11 uh, in verses 23 and 24 that's verses you you can stay on in um, Third John second and and First John sixteen twenty three. That's verses you can stay on. Staying on, stay on, and speak and speak. Okay. okay, then we have right here. You can always pause it so that way you can. Uh, can read it anytime. You can come back anytime and read these verses right here. They'll be right here for you. I'm going to do 18 real fast. Eh? Not real fast, but you know. <laughs> but you can read it. You can go back on my videos and see they have special prayers that I've shared when I first started. And they have more. Oh, and it's in the Bible. I have those verses that you can speak as well. Well, all right, now I want to come over here, change this. Let's see, I want it to, to show you another verse here. Let's see here. I like all these, all the whole book, all of them. And, see? Well, an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. Huh? Isn't it beautiful the word of God? It's got many, many, many words that you can speak upon the, upon your needs, you know. God unto thee, into thee, thou seed after thee. See? It talks about the seed to thee, the land within, or strange all the land of Canaan for all an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. It's 
Well, like this first. I like all of them, but there's certain verses, there's certain verses that's in the Bible that you can speak to. And I want to let y'all know that. And we have, let's see. Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7, and it's casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. That's in um, 1 Peter 5, 7. I wanted to just share a couple of verses with you. I will be sharing more soon, so y'all come back every day and make sure and watch my videos. And I want you to see that the Word of God is right there. You can speak God's Word every day. You can speak God's word every day. I have it on here. It has verses. There's verses that you can speak daily in your life. In, in, in every area in your situation in your life. Whatever your need is, there's verses. Go with your need. And that's what I want. Yeah, I want to share that with y'all today. I hope y'all a beautiful day. I, I speak blessings upon your life right now. Before I close, I'm going to say a prayer. Father God, I send blessings your blessings upon everyone who's watching this video today. May they each be blessed every day of their lives. With your blessings, O oh Lord. With your hand, O oh Lord. Bless everyone who's watching this video today, liking or just passing by or just glancing. Grab hold to them, O oh Lord. See their fate, O oh Lord, because they came here today for you, O oh Lord. Amen. May each and every one of you be blessed today and every day in Jesus' almighty name. Amen.